Hey everyone, Mr. McIntosh here, and if you've recently tried to reinstall Mac OS Sierra, Hi Sierra, Mojave, or Catalina, and you tried to sign it with iCloud, and then you got to the Terms and Conditions window, and you cannot click Agree because it's grayed out, there's a problem here, and I'm going to show you how to solve it next. Okay, so the problem starts right away after you installed Mac OS, and you get to the Setup Assistant window, and you start to walk through. Once you connect to Wi-Fi here, you can continue, and Data Privacy, no transfer, and then this is where issues begin. If you wanna skip the issue, you can just click on set up later. I'm gonna walk you through what it looks like once you try to sign in with your Apple ID because this is where the problem starts. Okay, so I entered in my Apple ID and I did my two-factor authentication and now I'm at the iCloud terms and conditions window. There's a lot of people that actually say that you have to scroll through this, but that's not true. You should be able to just click agree right here, but as you can see, it's grayed out. So even if you click more and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and then click more in here, it doesn't work there's a problem with either the iCloud servers or some sort of a communication. We're not sure yet because this issue just started coming up within the last few days. So to fix it, all we need to do is go click on back and click on set up later here, and then we can click on skip click on the terms and conditions for Mac OS, and then we can agree and take it through the rest of the setup. The good news is once we're in Mac OS on the desktop and your account is created, you can go into system preferences and then you'll be able to go in here and sign in by clicking sign in here. Then you can enter in your Apple ID here. And there we go, we're signed into iCloud with our Apple ID in system preferences. So at least we're able to get back signed into iCloud once we get back to the operating system desktop. I hope that fixed the issue for you. If it did, let me know in the comments when we catch you in the next video. Thanks.